welcome to Megasota Game Night. It is time for my bar.tv trivia. We already have Mel Melissa checking in on Facebook. Melissa, how Hi, are you Melissa. doing tonight? Hi, Hope Melissa. You're having a great night. Hope you're playing trivia with us tonight. Just go to mybar.tv on your phone. Just type it in the web browser, Safari or Chrome or whatever you got. Just go in there, <laughs> mybar.tv, and you can play along with us. Tonight we've got Thank 10 questions, that. multiple choice. Yeah, you got to get logged in. I know. Oh, man. 10 questions, four choices. Whoever answers the most, the fastest, gets to choose the topic for next week. Oh, boy. And there are some good ones. What do we got next week? Um, for next week? Oh, I can look it up. Actually. Okay. That I can do. As everybody gets logged in, I can double check. I actually came slightly prepared tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have a Darn. Tony Sorry. tidbits between the questions? We or? have some of them. Ooh. I like when he makes them up. Yes. Yes. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you don't like them when I make them up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, so topic for next week. The four categories we can choose from are the letter B, Greek mythology, Ooh. space, weights, and measures. Why do I feel like that last one is going to be just like fourth grade <laughs> science all over many, again? How many ounces does a tennis ball weigh? How many oh newtons boy. does it take to lift <laughs> a 10 kilogram weight? <laughs> and a fourth grader is supposed to know that? I did in fourth grade. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we got to get going. It is 6.15. Oh it's oh time yeah. to go. First question is about ready to get going. Make sure you are enrolled in this game. You're not going to want to miss it. The questions are absolutely amazing. They're easy. They're fun. Everybody's going to get them all right. It's going to be a question <laughs> of who's the fastest. You guys ready for that? <laughs> yes. All right, here we go. I'm going to try. <laughs> Starting trivia here in 10-second countdown now. Good luck, everyone. Have fun. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. What a night. Which sport is Bjorn Borg famous for? Baseball, what? tennis, basketball, or football? Tristan in there. A little late, but I got it. You might have been the only one who got it. Huh? Oh, no. Missy Rents and Palm Tree. Oh, hey, nice. Palm Missy, tree all right. Nice to see you on leaderboard. Missy, thanks for playing along with us, but Palm Tree knowing that one right away. There's Pops in there with 298. 50% of you getting that right. Bjorn Borg is tennis. Did that you know did that? take me a few seconds. You didn't know Bjorn Borg was tennis? Mm -mm. Tennis. I honestly don't really know who Bjorn Borg is. He is a, I'll tell you who he is. He's a Swedish former world number one tennis player. Okay. Widely considered to be one of the greatest of all time. Between 1974 and 1981, he became the first man to win 11 Grand Slam singles titles. Six French Open, five consecutive Wimbledons. Wow. Uh, three, uh, let's see, 15 Grand Prix Super Series titles. Uh, let's see, what else? Teenage Sensation. And yes, he uh, had to retire at the age of 26. I might do that. That's not, that a, that's nice. not a, a bad thing, being no. able to retire at, twi or retire at 26. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. I might <laughs> do that. Also, hello to Missy Rents. She is actually one of our newer players. All right, Missy. Thanks for uh, checking in yeah. on MyBar.TV and checking in on Facebook. All right, let's go. Next question. Where is my control panel? There it is. Next question. Number two coming up. In cable television, what do the initials MTV stand for? Music television, martial television, midday television, or musical television? I mean, oh. not to look my shirt on TV, oh, but... Oh, Nikki's cheating. <laughs> She's wearing an MTV shirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this was tough, though. Only 50% getting it right. What is going on out there? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was musical television, but apparently oh, not. Oh, no. Yeah, that was a trick. It was music television. Oh, oh, yeah. Some that's people a know. sneaky one. Yeah, it was. It was. It was very sneaky. Music, television, MTV. Remember the very first video they played? Uh, video killed the radio star. That former uh, topic or question. Oh yeah, we had one. that question. We had that question on this one a uh, few months ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, MTV. I thought I wrote a little thing about MTV, uh, but instead, <laughs> you it looks just like pictures of them. I copied <laughs> the entire <laughs> Wikipedia page and it didn't paste in right. The last time they played a music video was in 2012. Is that right? Oh. Really? I actually just made that up. Oh. But it, it, sure it's probably it right. At night, they play videos, I think. Oh. Launched on August 1st, 1981. So it is 37 years old. Yep. Oh, wait. We ha somebody actually asked this question for real. President of MTV is oh. Sean Atkins. Okay. So He's, he's going to restore music programming to the channel. 
including the return of MTV Unplugged. Oh, After thank you. Uh, nine years off the air, TRL oh. returned on October 2nd, 2017. I didn't know that. So MTV plays full music videos between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. Oh, okay. Not even 6 a.m., oh. 5.59 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> At least in 2016 they did yes. that. Uh, well, you got to have something to watch in the middle of the night. <laughs> Apparently. All right, we're going to go on for question number three. Coming up, here we go. What is the capital of Texas? Boston, Houston, Austin, Dallas. Pops in there right away. Palm tree missing it. But hold on to that lead. Did anybody get this right? Missy got it right. I thought it was Dallas because everything's bigger in Dallas. Oh, there we go. Lots of players out here. Zippers are. That's a good one. Oh, wow. C.B. Hoff on the leaderboard as well. 70% of you getting it right. Austin, Texas is the capital. It is, what do I know about Austin? I wonder how many of our players are from BeersTube, because I know there there's some trivia addicts out there. Ooh, yeah, if you're playing at BeersTube, let us know. Say hello on Facebook. Just go to Facebook.com, search for Pilot Games. You can go right to Pilot Gaming Systems. You can find us on there. Austin has a population of 2,056,405. Located in Central Texas. Sounds like a nice place. Yeah. People really like it. I've never been there. It's hot. It does seem hot, but I think they have a nice river that keeps it cool. Well, it is Texas. That's right. Yeehaw. Everything's bigger <laughs> in Texas. And apparently warmer. I would go for the food. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Question four. Who's going to beat Missy? Just 100 points from Palm Tree. What is the total voltage of a series circuit using three D cells? Six volts, 12 volts, 4.5 volts, or 24 volts? I knew I should have been an electrical engineer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nobody knowing that. No. Le- not even Larry H. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Uh, Why would we know that? Do, do, well, <laughs> I thought this was going to be an easy one. Every, Basically, every battery, AA, AAA, D, whatever, is 1.5 volts. I know, but who uses, we don't hardly use batteries anymore. That's what I put in my flashlights, <laughs> D-cell batteries, oh, and my boombox. I have a cell phone that's a flashlight. When I carry my right? get I, I, I have a cell phone that's a boombox. <laughs> yeah. My cell phone does it all. I take my boombox out on the w- when I walk to down the street <laughs> with like the boombox on my thing, yeah. I mean, I mean, my fancy flashlights all have their own batteries. Oh, there we go. Somebody showed up right at the very end. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, there you yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, three D cell batteries. So a battery is 1.5 volts. So if you have three of them, it's 4.5. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now we know. Now we know. And I will tell that to the lady at the right aid next time I go in there with my boombox trying to get some new batteries. <laughs> no, I need the 1.5 volt ones. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? uh, this thing takes 18. How many volts is that, lady? <laughs> All right. Next question, number five, uh-huh. coming up. What is the square root of 625? Mine did. 5, 50, 25, or 26? That math, ma- that, that somewhat math minor coming in handy there. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This was Close. an easy one. Mine didn't come up until the very end. Did you get it right? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer is 25. Square root is two numbers multiplied together to give that number. Yeah. Another math. Two math problems in a row. I should say that Mason didn't trust your math there and actually just pulled up this calculator. <laughs> oh, I know better. <laughs> <laughs> 625. So 25 times 25 is 625. It's 5 times 5. 20 times 5. Times 5. All right, zippers are jumping in the lead with that quick math problem. Now we're going to use a math problem involving pi. Uh-oh. No, Why I'm are I'm we kid- doing no, all these math problems? I quit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am kidding. All right. Next question, number six. Coming up, Zipper Zerk in the lead. He's getting us ready for measures and weights. <laughs> yeah. What is the Italian delicacy of cooked squid called? Bacala, calamari, taglitielli, risotto. Missy knowing that one right away. Calamari is the answer. Everybody knowing that. Oh, calamari oh, yeah. is pretty good. A lot of times they fry it, mm-hmm. dip it in some kind of sauce. I haven't had fried calamari in a long time. I used to eat it when I lived in Seattle. Oh, yeah. I'd get some fried calamari. Happy hour special. Mm-hmm. $5 for a whole plate. Freshest calamari you could get. Sometimes I feel like it's easier to ask you where you haven't lived. <laughs> 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 like all, all, all of a sudden, one day you're like, yeah, when I used to live in Germany. <laughs> yeah. Right. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I lived in Venice for a little bit, too. Yeah. Like. <laughs> 
All right, question seven. Zippers are out there by 400 points over Missy Rent and Palm Tree. Let's see what happens on question seven. Are we gonna make up any ground here, anybody? Here we go. Answer quick, answer right. How many stocks are represented by the Dow Jones Industrial Average? 250, 50, 30, or 100? I'm failing. How many of you investors are out there? Well, I don't know the average number. <laughs> Missy Rents, Palm Tree, there's Zipper Zerk. Nobody. Nobody. No investors out there. Uh-oh. Okay, so what I want everybody to do is give me a list of stocks you recommend, and I'm going to stay away from them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Microsoft, Apple, Move my portfolio Google. out of there. <laughs> 30. Dow Jones Industrial uh. Average. That tells you, in general, how the stock market's doing. Yes. I don't know who's I in I do that. know that. <laughs> I was going to look up who is in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That's what I was going to type in, but I didn't. See, when I saw this, I was like, wait, does that mean how many companies there are? Because there's definitely more than 30 yes. in, the <laughs> in the Dow. Dow Jones Industrial Average is an average. All right. Let's see. Question eight coming up. Zippers are still 400 points out in the lead. On what network the TV show The Voice premiere? MTV, ABC, TBS, or NBC? NBC, WNBC, WNBC. <laughs> I don't remember that ever happening, but. <laughs> From the Howard Stern Show? Oh, well, saying, I wouldn't know that. He was saying WNBC wrong on the radio and they made him practice. Oh. <laughs> WNBC, all right. Yeah. Missy Rant's taking over the lead on that one. 300 points in front of Zipper Zerk. Tristan now moving up into third place, just in front of Palm Tree. We are having a race here. Two questions left, uh -oh. and we've got one, two, three, four, five. All top five have a chance. Close game. This is a close game. Let's see. Everybody got your finger on your buzzer? Yes. Here where's my go. buzzer? <laughs> Next question, number Power nine, button. coming up. What was Coach's full name on the TV show Cheers? Yeah, Ernie Pantuso, Ernie Venatoli, Inner Panatoni, Ernie Pagagasi. Well, I'm glad no one else did. Ernie Pantuso. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, man. There's Crazy oh. Cooter on the leaderboard. 385 points. Nice to see you out there. Yes. Uh, nobody watches the TV show Cheers. I have watched every episode of it, but I just don't remember. <laughs> That's a show I think I would really like. I know we've tried to watch it a couple times, but for some reason I've I watched it. I just can't uh, can't get into it. But I w we watch Frasier a lot. Frasier. Mm -hmm. That's a spinoff. They're having another spinoff of Frasier. Yes. Oh. A, a Frasier spinoff. The next one coming up. So it'll be a spinoff of a spinoff. Who's gonna be in that? I think the main guy. Oh, really? Kelsey Grammer's going to be back in it? That's what I had heard. Oh. Sometimes when your money runs out. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully it's going to be a good show. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Where are we at here? <laughs> we are having a close race here. Last question, number 10. Who is going to win this one and choose next week's trivia question? Let's see what happens. Last question coming up. This is for all the marbles. Who is the mother of Al Pacino's son, Anton? Beverly D'Angelo, Penelope Ann Miller, Diane Keaton, Jan Tarrant. This is like my worst trivia ever. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is getting this one right? Oh I, my I went gosh. with the only Crazy. famous name I knew. Beverly D'Angelo is the answer. Where is that the lady from Vacation? Yeah. Oh. She had a baby with uh, Al Pacino. I didn't know really? that. What Obviously. Happened, <laughs> what happened to uh, Zipper Zerk and Missy? Did they not answer? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Zipper Zerk was missing last round, too. Oh, was he? Oh, okay. I guess maybe they gave up on it. <laughs> Missy, you going to log in and play this last question? It, even if you don't know it, hit the button. It's <laughs> you got to answer it. I'm going to give you a second because it was your chance to choose the topic. But anyways, this may be how we end up here. Tristan, Palm Tree, Pops, Mason, and Nikki are final top five. I think I'm going to call this one a game. Uh, Missy, if you're out there playing, get in there soon. We will give you credit for choosing for next week if you can get in and, and get it right. But yeah. let's do the next question here. Oh, Everybody vote. Oh, that was the last one. Okay. No, well, the next question is the topic for next week. Okay, gotcha. So make sure you vote because if the winners don't vote, then it goes in order of who voted. So here we go. Next question. Topic for next week. Space, the letter B. Greek mythology weights and measures everybody lock in those votes i voted for the letter b that could be a good one and let's see well it doesn't matter if it's good or not 
Let's see what Tristan picked. I picked Greek mythology. Oh. <laughs> yes, Tristan. <laughs> it is confirmed. Uh, Tristan picked uh, Greek mythology. I think Skull is going to be up here next week and try to challenge me on it. <laughs> I'm Precious waiting for you, Skull. Precious is checking in on Facebook. Working. She's working. She's got all her machines full. All right. So we need awesome. to send some wins uh, to the Legion. All right. We will do that. And they got a new player tonight. All right. Ice. All right, Precious. Thank you so much for checking in. Oh, Ice. Nice. Good luck. Cool. Good luck to everybody out there. St. James. Uh, we hope to see you on the leaderboard coming up real soon. I'm going to end this game. And do you want to tell us uh, what we are doing uh, for games tonight? Yes. At 640, we'll be Wipeout Blackout. The coverall is starting at over $4,200. At 650, will be Easy Money. At 710 is our Fishing Derby. The Largemouth Jackpot is starting at over $2,300. And the Small Mouth is starting at $500. At 740 is Bingo Blingo, bingo, and at 8 p.m. will be <laughs> the <laughs> 56 ball coverall, the jackpot of over $22,000. Big, big prizes out there. We're going to get these things rolling here in just a second. Uh, it is now 6.30, so 10 minutes we will get the games going. So good luck to everybody out there, and we will see you in a few. Thanks a lot for playing trivia tonight. Congratulations to Tristan picking the topic for next week. Missy uh, Rents just right in on Facebook, and we'll, we'll, we'll get you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Missy, that was your game to choose the topic from so if you would just put something in there we will override tristan's choice of greek mythology unless you want to do Please. greek mythology yeah it's already there i feel like that could be a good one all right we will take a quick break and be right back <laughs>
All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Mega Soda Game Night. It is September 11th, and we are here with 252 of you about ready to play some Wipeout Blackout Bingo. We got more people joining the party as we go. 253. Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? Make sure you check in on Facebook. Say hello. We've got Precious and Louie out there checking in already, and Missy checking in on Facebook. Say hi to Palm Tree out there playing along with us during trivia, doing pretty good out there. And uh, we got a whole set of great games coming up tonight, don't we? What do we got yes. on our list of games? All right, we're getting ready to play Wipeout Blackout, and our coverall is starting at over 4,200, the large frame, um, over 1,200, the line win at $596. Then at $650, it'll be easy money. At $710, will be Fishing Derby, the large mouse starting at 2,300 small mouth at 500. At 740 will be Bingo Bingo, and then at 8 p.m. will be our 56 ball coverall. The jackpot starting at over $22,000. Yep, and remember on those progressives and wipeout blackout, the line win is within eight balls. Yes. The large frame within 45, and the coverall within 55 balls. We've hit all of them before. Yeah. Why not hit them all tonight <laughs> as well and have all of that? Look at that, $7,900 in prizes. If we hit all of those progressives tonight, all that money is going back. If not, it'll come back next week. All right, 261 players enrolled. I hope you are having a great September. Did you get our newsletter yesterday? We sent it out early in the morning. And uh, if you got it, let us know what you think. I didn't see anybody unsubscribe from our list yet, so that's a good thing. <laughs> People must have been it. <laughs> and we got uh, Tammy checking in on Facebook saying she missed the first round of trivia. Oh, oh no. sorry, Tammy. You know what, Tammy? We're closing up shop a little bit early tonight as well. We're not going to have a round two of trivia next week. Yes, next week we'll have two rounds. Next week, yes. We will be back to our regular schedule. Hopefully. And we, yeah, hopefully. Amy also checking in. Hello from Buffalo. Hello, Amy. How are things out there in Buffalo? Try to send some good luck your way. 265 players in here now, just shy of $8,000 up for grabs. Less than a minute to go. Make sure you get enrolled. Make sure you're logging in with your PGL username and password tonight. Earn those PGL points for season yeah. four. Where are we at in season four? All right, season four. In first place is No Show at Trails Grill. In second is OK, also at Trails Grill. In third is Nixon at the Roseville VFW. In fourth is J-Mac at Monty's Sports Bar. And in fifth, we have Louie at the St. James Legion. Yep, so we got to catch those folks at the Trails Grill. Yeah. They are out there <laughs> blazing a trail in front of everybody else, but they're not that far in it, in it out there, are they? Let's see. I mean, OK has a 12,000 point lead You can lead catch up in yeah. a one good fishing derby One good there. fishing derby can <laughs> twist this whole thing around. Lena checking in from Huico's. Nice to see you out there. All right. Good luck, Lena. All right, 272 players now enrolled. Oh, and our timer is going down. All right, let's do this. Let's get this game rolling. Remember, Wipeout Blackout is fast and furious. Right. While you get that started, I'm going to talk about one of our charities. It's the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation. They're a nonprofit organization that produces two large festivals a year, the St. Paul Winter Carnival and the Cinco de Mayo Westside St. Paul. Lots and lots of great organizations out there. And uh, we're just happy to be a part of it or do our part to help yeah. those organizations out all right any second now we are going to get these balls Don't to drop get your music too yep i got my music i got oh, button click ready. there we go <laughs> there we go and here we are looking for a straight line bingo before ball eight Let's see what happens here we go balls are dropping down already on ball seven here comes ball eight. What do we got? No winner. That's going to drop there yeah. for that line. Went down to 114 bucks. Oh. There we go. Bingo. Thomas and Louie. Louis. All, right. All right, Louie. Congratulations. Splitting that $114. We're going to go after that large frame right now. $1,850 if somebody can win that large frame before ball 45. Honor before ball 45. Look at that coverall prize. $5,259. Two cards, seven balls away. T Biscuit, six balls away. We're looking for a large frame winner on or before ball 45. Tom Miss and Louie picking up the straight line. What a way to start the night off, both of you. Brizo and T Biscuit, four balls away. Ball 29 coming down. Six cards, four balls away. Oh, there's no show over there. All right, no show number one in the state. 
eight cards, four balls away. No show, so close winning season two and season three. Mm -hmm. Right now leading season four. Let's see what happens. Season four ends the end of December. Seven cards, three balls away. Missy, saw you on the leaderboard. Nice yeah. to see you out there. Boo now, one ball away. All right. No winner by ball 45. That large frame is going to drop here. $182. Still a nice prize out there. We're going to roll those prizes over next week. But let's see what happens with that coverall. There we go. Big winner on corn the. Dog. Yep, corn dog. <laughs> corn dog, we ate a lot of you at the fair. We need to get those fair pictures up. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm slacking. Don't know. I don't know. Here comes ball 55. No winner on any of these. No progressive winners, but lots of big prizes, though. 114 split between Louie and Thomas, 182 to Corn Dog, And now we've got oh, Travelers, Travelers at All the right. Whistle Stop and Hot Tater splitting that $228 coverall prize. Congratulations to all of our winners out there. And the good news is these prizes will be even bigger yes. next week. So That's right. Congratulations to everybody. That game is so fast and so fun. Uh, we will take a break, and when are we coming back to play? We are coming back with Easy Money. All right, we will be right back with Easy Money. We'll see you in a few minutes.
Hello everybody and welcome back to Megasota Game Night. We are about ready to start our second game of the night and there are two minutes to go and there are $2,500 in prizes. Alright. A lot of twos happening here. Yes. And oh my gosh, look at that. Over 300 mm -hmm. players enrolled in this Easy Money 45 Play 10 Minute Flash Bingo Tournament game. $2,500 up for grabs. That's all must-go prizes, all going back during this game to whoever can get the most points after 45 plays. we got to make sure that we say hello to Heather at Huico's. Yes. Heather, thanks for checking in. Bartender out there doing we also a great have job. P, Alexander, and No Show checking in Ooh, on Facebook. All right. So. Thanks for yeah. checking in on Facebook. Say hello in the chat. Talk to us. Talk to each other. It's a lot of fun in there. I've got our chat going right here. Be able to talk to you right back. Not polite to uh, text on the air, but I'm going to do it anyways. Just for our players only, though. <laughs> so if it's my agent or any, you know, yeah. talking about the big movie or something, I'm going to wait. I'll get it during the break. What kind of roles do you usually get? <laughs> look, look me up on IMDb. Okay. I'm in there. I do a lot of stuff. Stunt work. Yes. There is a guy with the same name as me who's mm -hmm. a stuntman. And he's done a lot of good work. Yeah. I take credit for it. <laughs> All right, 316 players enrolled in Easy Money. First Flash Bingo tournament game of the night. Remember, log in with your PGL username and password. Earn those Season 4 PGL points. If you are a PGL member, you got that newsletter on Monday, just yesterday morning. If you right. haven't checked your email in a while, check it out. A lot of great stuff in there. We talked about PyCon. We talked about the Pilot Championship Series. And if you don't know what that is, I'll just... I'll summarize it by saying free trip to Vegas. That's it. And I'm hearing reports now. People are looking up me on Wikipedia. I was in Godzilla, Time Cop, you name it. X-Men, been in all those. That's why I got to keep this in here. Christy saying hello. Hey, Christy. Thanks for checking in on Facebook. And the time is flying by. Right. Look at this. $2,700 in prizes. 320 players in this easy money game. Let's switch it over and see what happens. Who is going to be on this leaderboard tonight? We've seen a lot of our big players out there early in the Wipeout Blackout. We saw a no-show out there. And uh, let's see who's going to be in this one. Who's going to earn the most points? Do The Peanuts. Yeah, I did uh, a little bit of Twilight. That is for sure. Oh, boy. Oh, Big, Daddy. Big Daddy. All right. St. Cloud Eagles, nice to see you out there. $2,100. I want to win in sixth place. Josie in first place. 5,800 points already. All right. Oh, yeah. Hot Tater, one of our winners in Wipeout Blackout in fifth place right Back now. Back on the leaderboard again. Two Peapods in sixth place. Pickles in seventh place. Remember Pickles from the movie? And Big Daddy now in eighth place. From what Johnny movie? Johnny Five Alive. From that one's from the movie, too. Short Circuit. Oh. Uh. Yep. <laughs> Johnny Five Alive. Stuartville Legion. That was a great movie. They had uh, Short Circuit and Short Circuit 2. Short Circuit, from what I remember, was way better. I'd like actually like to watch that one again. TNT now, Stillwater Bowl in first place, 13,000 points. Josie in second place. Palmer at South Street Saloon in third. Mrs. Stick in at Mills Lounge in fourth place. I want to win in seventh. We're doing what we can. I want to win. <laughs> Two Peapods in eighth. Presley Ray at Huico's. There you go. Presley Ray, say hi to Heather for us. And Lena both out there at Huico's checking in on Facebook. Zyags, G. Allen's skeleton getting ready for Halloween. We're going to be Ooh, doing, yeah. we'll be in here on October 30th, I believe is a Tuesday. And so we'll be doing a Halloween special that night. So make sure you come out with your favorite costume for Megasota Game Night. Everybody know what you're going to be this year? Um, I have to put some thought into that still. I do too. I remember last year I tried to wear a hat and it didn't work with these headphones. Oh, yeah. No. So Gotta I'm going to have to. That into and the other part of our costume that's a thing is it's only from the waist up. Yes. So we and no hats. Well, unless we figure out how to get it mounted on the uh, the cans. All right, TNT in first place. Kroll in sixth. Voodoo 77 in seventh place. Lucky 7's there. TTTDD. Huck Shipwreck in second place. 
look at these prizes out there fifth through tenth sixty four dollars first place 289 second place 257 third three 225 big prizes out there Sonia 2010 at the Red Goat. Remember the uh, Christmas decorations, the Red Goat? Yes. Did? Yeah. They did a great uh, Christmas decorations last year, possibly the year before. That's coming up too. So remember, we have your de the Deck Your Bar contest. Yeah. We here before we yeah. know it. <laughs> it goes by fast. <laughs> yeah, Mad Dog scrolling by in 30th place. There's Diesel at St. James Legion. We've also got Ice, who's a new player at the Legion out there oh, tonight. Yeah. Somewhere we haven't seen Ice on the leaderboard, so we're we're looking for you, Ice. Oahu out there. Is that what that says? Oahu at Uptown Tavern. Mm -hmm. Wild um, Man 007. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and remember, we have the Pilot Championship Series coming up here, so stay tuned to your email. If you're not a PGL member, you might as well join, because we'll be sending emails out through that mailing list. Letting everybody know how they can qualify for a free trip for two to Vegas uh, the weekend of November 17th. Yeah, that's something you want to be a part of. Yep, $18,000 in prizes, no cost to enter. And uh, we're going to have several locations you can play at. You'll be able to play on your phone if you can't make it out. And it is going to be a blast. I can't wait. I cannot wait to go to Vegas on the 17th. We'll go on the 16th. Everybody will go out there on the 16th. Come back on the 18th. But 17th is the championship night from the Luxor and if you are unable to make it out to Vegas you'll be able to watch on Pilot TV yeah we're not going out there just to have fun we are going to be in the studio there mm -hmm. Vegas studio and uh, we'll be broadcasting out to everybody on Pilot TV it's going to be a blast all right five minutes to go players are cruising through these plays if you look at those little yellow progress bars working away from the left to the right that indicates how many of the 45 plays each of these players has completed once it gets all the way over to the right, those players will have no more plays left. We'll be able to sit back, relax, maybe make a PGL account, have another beer, whatever you want to do until the game is over. There's J-Ray in the fifth place at Sal's Angus Grill. Josie holding on to that lead with 22,000 points. Oh. You got something to say? I did. I, I type. I wrote something down. Okay. I want to give a shout out to the Woodshed Bar and Grill in Otter Tail. Ooh. They were sharing our post earlier. All right. Thank you. That is great. We love people sharing our posts out there. We send the schedule out on the weekend so you know what games we're going to be playing on Tuesday night. You don't have to look at it. If you'd like, rather be surprised like Christmas, you can just show up and play. But if you'd like to plan ahead, they're out there. Josie holding on to that lead, but no plays left for Josie. TNT almost just halfway done and a ton of plays left. <laughs> Lena's yelling, help, help. <laughs> Not doing too good, Lena. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, that's Lena. Bex, yeah. The same Lena? Uh, I don't no. think so. Nope. Different Lena. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Lena. We got excited. We thought we saw you on the leaderboard. Keep trying, Lena. More games. There's more games out there. But there is somebody named Lena in the top ten, so that must give you some That's sort right. of joy. <laughs> <laughs> You're this close. Sometimes we our good luck things miss. We sent I it know. to, uh, uh, who was that, the Fishing King? Mm -hmm. And the guy next to him got a jackpot. Yeah. We sent it out to Lena and went to a different Lena. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're not that good at it. We're not no. trained luck throwers. But we're getting better. We think, yeah. There's Bubbles in 69th place. Bubbles, I want to come on that cruise in March. <laughs> so if there's any way I can get discount tickets, my dream on a cruise ship with the Trailer Park Boys <coughs> and Tom Green. That's, that's uh, something. That is something. Could you, ima could you imagine? <laughs> no, I cannot imagine. The buffet with, the, with that whole scene? I No. That would be, yeah, cheeseburgers. <laughs> I wonder if Randy would be there. All, all cheeseburgers <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken <laughs> chips. Great. Yeah, chicken <laughs> chips. I don't know if they have donairs on the boat but or not. but <laughs> And maybe I'll go. It's during spring break. You never know. I might just buy a ticket. That's okay. You can. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> yeah, look at Jace 11 in ninth place. There are sev almost 17,000 points and only half the plays. He's 
plenty of time to catch up to Josie, but make sure you use all those plays. There's only two minutes to go, Jace. What are we playing after this game? Um, coming up after this will be Fishing Derby. Ooh, all yeah. right. That is a big, big point game. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get ready on those. That's another PGL point earner. So if you want to yeah. jump up to the top of the leaderboards on PGL, make sure you have your PGL account logged in for Fishing Derby. We've had people get 60,000 points in one game. Yeah. Can really turn the tables on the leaderboard. There's no show. Number one in the state in eighth place Ooh, right there. 17,535. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you out there. No show. There's Jace moving up with all those plays left. But Jace, only 90 seconds to go. You got to keep hitting that button and work your way up. Yeah, no show's up to seventh now and still has a lot okay. of points. Oh left. yeah, no show. Same, but no, and no show. You need those points. Mm -hmm. You got to hold on to that lead because you are. Where is no show on the leaderboard? He is first. first but how many points ahead of OK is he? Thirteen thousand points mm -hmm. ahead of OK. Thirty-one thousand points ahead of OK. So you need all those points. Not seeing OK on the leaderboard tonight. Second place in the state, also at Trails Grill. Jace 11, 50 seconds to go. Jace, keep you guys are making away me those nervous. points. <laughs> yeah, three, <laughs> only 3,000 points out. That guy in 97th place. Oh, well, No Show there. moved up to six. Lots of plays left. No Show getting that top five. Actually, any one of these plays could get you 3,000 points and jump you right to the top. Jace 11. Still has some plays left. So does, there's no show in fifth place fifth, now. Yeah, working the way 20 up. 20 seconds to go. No show. Use all those plays. Let's see what happens here. Final countdown here. 10 seconds to go. Control mic. No show in fourth place. Jumping ahead of Jace. Oh, Jace still that. with some plays left. That might be where we end up. Mm -hmm. Time is up. Jace, where did you end up? Let's see where Jace is when we come back. We'll make it official. Take a quick break. We'll sharpen the hooks and we'll be back with Fish and Derby. That looks like our final standings right All there. Right. Oh, Jace got his plays finished. Congratulations, Jace. That was <laughs> right down to the wire. I like that. You guys kept it interesting. Yeah, that was <laughs> a lot of action right there at the very end. And there we go. Josie. Hold on that lead from the beginning, $289. Congratulations. We are going to take a quick break and be right back.
All right, hello, anglers, and welcome back to Megasota Game Night. 314 of you are out there ready to do some fishing derby. Two minutes to go, almost $10,000 in prizes. Where are those jackpots at tonight? All right, the large mouth is starting at $2,356, and the small mouth is at $500. Yep, so big prizes out there, and that's going to grow. And uh, as we get more players out here, and I think the latest tally is almost $3,000 for that All large right. mouth and over $800 for that small mouth jackpot. And that is going to keep awesome. growing and growing and growing. Actually, the large mouth just hit 3000 This just in, it hit 3000 I can prove it to you if you want me to. <laughs> I'm going to prove it to you. Here I it is. This is where we're at right now. Those are the latest jackpot amounts. Uh, $3,006, $825. That's where everybody's fishing right now. If you want to figure out where you want to go, you can move around during the uh, during the broadcast, during the tournaments. Find the hot spot with the lucky lure. You can also check and see who's fishing with who tonight. I'm kind of curious, aren't you? Yes. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We have Pete there with 38% of you choosing Pete, 41% choosing Susie, and just 20% choosing Matt. That seems to happen every yeah. week. I don't know if it's the orange life vest or the sunglasses. Or the sunglasses. Why do people not like Matt? I have no idea. I'm not sure. I don't know either. Tristan, we got we can't hear you. Oh. Matt is a safe Oh, I see. The safety guy with a safety vest, the yeah. orange safety vest. I see what's going on there. Well, anyways, we'll see. Maybe we'll catch some fish tonight. We'll be able to check in with all of our anglers and see who they're fishing with. And who's catching the biggest fish? Remember those largemouth and smallmouth jackpots? You can win on any individual play. It doesn't matter where you finish in the standings. And if more than one player uh, hits largemouth during the course of the fishing tournament, that prize will be split amongst the number of winners, which we've had it happen a few times. Mm -hmm. And six seconds to go before you got to turn your motors on and get to the lucky spot. So anglers, on your way. Is that a thing? It can be. Yes. <laughs> it can be your thing. <laughs> Anglers on your way. And this is a large point getter out there, so hopefully you're a PGL point or PGL player and logged in with your PGL account. No show. Taking an early lead there. 3,300 points. Congratulations. No show. First in the state, first in this game. He's showing everybody what season four is about. Beer ladies in ninth. Diesel at St. James Legion on the leaderboard again. Diesel having a great night out there. Steve Arino in first place at Pappy's Cafe, Coon Rapids. There's JC Ice, JC's Bar and Grill. Rebma MTs on eighth. No show down to fifth place. This is a big point earning game, so anybody could earn yeah. some big points and jump right back up there. Tootsie in six, two pea pods, a beer stube in seventh place, no show fall in the eighth place. Hez in ninth place. And there's Mongo in first place. Peanut, the real peanut in second place. We have another peanut oh, yeah. with the letter P, the P. Nut out there as well playing tonight. Cookie T in fifth place. No show now in eighth. Two pea pods in ninth place. Let's check uh, what people are using for their lucky lures. Let's see who's chosen what for lucky lures out Ooh, there. Boots just jumped in the Ooh, first. All right, Boots, congratulations. Here's our lure count right there. A lot of people staying with that one in the upper left, but people are uh, switching around. Worms are always very popular there, 10% yeah. of you using the worms. But oh, uh, it's that's a little, little different. This yeah, a little bit more spread out mm -hmm. this time all over the place. But yeah, people like to find their lucky lures. This is Stick. In second place, Cookie T at Scardas in third, Boots in fourth, Cancer Sucks, yes, in fifth place. Mongo still holding on a lead. Sonia in sixth, Cancer Sucks in seventh, Scat at Upper Deck Sports Bar in eighth place, KWF in ninth place. Amazingly small world, I called to get help with our internet because we lost it in the in the storm and the tech support person was from Rochester yeah oh yeah that yeah. was exciting <laughs> E-Man in first place at Hooligans Mick Waters in second place at Colonial Lanes Cookie T at Scardas in third Mongo in fourth 
Jean at Red Goat in fifth place. I think it's about time we check in with Tristan so. and Mason. Where are you guys located? They are at Eagle All Island. Right. Let's see if I can type in the uh, coordinates. There we go. Eagle Island looking good out there. All right. Let's get you mic'd up. What's happening in Eagle Island? You guys are on. Wow, Tristan, you were right. This eagle repellent really works. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> There's not an eagle in sight. I know. And it's really working for No Show and Nixon right now, who are actually both out here fishing. Uh, they're the only two players that we've spotted so far, but we do see some more boats out around here. Uh, it looks like No Show's out here fishing with Peter, using the very last lure that he can use. And then we've got Nixon fishing with Matt, using that, that middle lure right in the center. All right, yeah. that's exciting out there. Big PGL players fishing out there at Eagle Island. So uh, thanks for that report. We're going to check yeah. back in with you guys in a few minutes, and uh, hopefully you'll find some other big winners out there. Oh, All right, we'll check in a few. All right, Tristan and Mason, the Pilot TV boat out there, checking out Their everybody. Eagle repellent. Their Eagle Repellent <laughs> at Eagle <laughs> Island. And I'm going to actually drive our remote boat. We have a remote-controlled boat that we can send out there. And uh, let's check in with our remote boat and see what it sees. Real-time live feed out there from Big Wampum Lake. We got Halsey out there at Detour 19, 14,000 points. It's this Ereldu at Riverboat Depot out there fishing. Aaron at Little Dandy, 14,000 points. Good job out there. Here's Rand. Rand was a big winner. Oh, it just switched to Bubbles just moved <laughs> in here. At the Deer Stand, 14,000 points. Baby Wheels, another big winner yeah. out there at Wico's. Baby Wheels, nice to see you out there fishing with Susie. Uh, 28 casts remaining. Nice to see you out there. There's Aaron. Holsey. Oh, all right. Oh, big got, news. Let's okay, in eighth place. We also had Trofish move into first place. Look at all those players on the leaderboard. 34,000 points for Trofish. Not even halfway done with all the plays. Yeah. That could end up being a 70,000 point night. That would be crazy. I want to win back on the leaderboard again in fourth place. E-Man in sixth. Dina John in seventh place. Okay, number two in the state. Defending champion mm -hmm. uh, in eighth place. And there's Boo, Seltz Pub, in ninth place. Sounds like Eagle Island is the place to be. Yeah. Four of our top ten players are playing at Eagle Island or fishing at Eagle Island. Top ten anglers. That may be the place to go. If you're not fishing at Eagle Island, you can pack up. I saw some uh, spots open up. I think you can get in over there. Look at that first place. It's going to be a $799 jackpot. Big, big money out there tonight. Let me check and see if we've hit any, um, any jackpots. Oh, yeah. That's always a good thing to check. Be able to tell us right away. I'm going to dial in to the mainframe real quick. Do some databasing. <laughs> nope. No need to do it. Nobody's hit it yet. Fish holding on to that first place with 37,000 points. Where's OK on this leaderboard? I want to see how many points she has. Uh, because she can get. It was an eighth, but I don't know if it's changed. Let's see. Uh oh. It's falling off the leaderboard. Important thing is she's got to get more points than uh, no show. That's true. Yeah. Try to move up that leaderboard. Duba in second place, Mongo in third, Mick Waters in fourth. Cancer sucks in fifth place. Look at that money out there. $133 for even 10th place. Mm -hmm. Our 10th place angler. I want to win in sixth place. EOM. Shep's on sixth, seventh place. Dina John in eighth. Chancellor Pizza and E Man. At Hooligans in ninth place. Looks like most people are hanging out at Eagle Island. Yeah. It's a nice place. It is the place to be. I think everyone found out about the eagle repellent. Yeah, and they moved right in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Duba f at Jersey is taking over first place with 38,000 points. How much time we got left? Seven minutes, 45 seconds. I think it's time for another field report. Let's do it. We're, you all guys are at the dockside bar. Let me get the uh, pilot TV chopper headed that way to the dockside bar. There we go. Click, clack. Dockside Bar, all right, you guys are on. What's happening at the bar? Oh, man, this is where all the relaxed people are fishing right now, it feels like. 
I mean, we've had OK over here and J-Mac over here since the beginning of the game. And it looks like Duba and Nick Waters have both moved over here, too. So Ooh. quite a few people that that we know. It looks uh, like everyone's using a large variety of the reels, too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we do have most people using Matt and Peter over here, though. Not okay. a lot of Susie. No Susie? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, OK and Nick Waters are using Matt. And then J-Mac and Duba are using Peter. Oh, nice uh, to see J-Mac out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. J Mac is out here too. She's, she's, she's kind of far away from OK. <laughs> but when you're in competition, we can understand why. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, we'll come back to you guys. Thanks for that report. And uh, let's see how much time do we have left. We have six and a half minutes. All right, thanks guys. We will check back with you later. All right, and we want to say hello to Julie from Bloom's Bar. Hi, Julie. Oh, Julie. Hope you're having fun out there. Trofish continuing to lead out there with 42,000 points. And we'll see if Miss K or OK or No Show can get some yes. big points in this yep. game. Many of our top five PGL players. There's Duba in second place. Mongo in third. Nightmare. Nightmare. Low battery. Speaking uh -oh. of low battery. <laughs> oh, it's just my phone. We'll figure it out after the Angler t England tournament coming up That's here. That's right. What do we got rest of the games tonight after the fishing tournament? All right. After fishing derby is Blingo Bingo at 740. And then our last game of the night will be at 8 p.m. It's a 56 ball cover. Our jackpot will be starting probably well over $22,000. Yeah, it might even be over 25000 yeah. once we get everybody in there. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of money on the line out there. There's Ninja in eighth place, the number one streaming celebrity on the planet oh. in eighth place, taking a break, playing Fortnite to come out here and play bingo. That is sure. absolutely amazing. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Trofish in first place, McWaters in sixth, Cancer Sucks in seventh, Ninja in eighth, Flipnick at Corky's Bar in ninth place. See anybody hitting any of those jackpots? Nope. Oh yeah, we get the little fireworks yeah, going off on the screen over here. So we don't even need to check because we haven't seen the fireworks yet. All right, under five minutes to go. Keep those hooks sharp. Throw them in the water. Change locations. There's Amy B, our old friend Amy oh B. Yeah. Let's see here. Do I still have the ability to do this? I used to be able to click on certain players' names and it would say it. Let's see. If yeah, I think it's a different Amy B, too. It's what? Might be a different Amy B. Oh. 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 Well, we'll see. Amy B is Amy B. I want to see if, the, if this thing would talk to us. It's been a li while since we updated those names. I think we need to do that again. That was pretty fun. Oh, now she's not on there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got all excited for nothing. <laughs> okay. Let's see. One more stop for our field reporters. Where are you guys located? We're going to go to Prosperity Harbor. What do you think? That sounds great. All right. Prosperity Harbor. We don't go there that often. Let's see, did I click on the wrong thing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, I know what I did. I changed the wrong background. There we go. Prosperity Harbor. I sent the chopper to the wrong place. There it is. Now it's out there. All right. Prosperity Harbor. Chopper heading in. Remote control. What's happening at Prosperity Harbor? You know, I really hope those eagles don't come over here now. I mean, they might. It, it, apparently, one of the side effects of the eagle repellent is that it can attract eagles sometimes, called super eagles. We need to get super eagle repellent? That's yes. what you're saying? Yes. Oh, okay. Anyways, there's Next not a week. whole lot going on at Prosperity Harbor. Uh, we do have Mongo here, uh, who was on the leaderboard. Uh, it looks like they're still on the leaderboard in fifth. They're fishing with Peter uh, using that third lure. And then we've got Nightmare, who has one of the best names ever. I was expecting to see her over in uh, Bay de Mort. Yeah. But oh, yeah, no. right. she, she's yeah. over here scaring all the people in uh, Prosperity. They are actually cowering behind the gates right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Thanks for that update. And yeah, Nightmare is an awesome name. It is, yeah. And uh, we will check in with you guys probably a little bit after the games. Sounds good. Sounds All good. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah, Nightmare is a great name out there on the leaderboard tonight in a couple different games. So nice to see you out there, Nightmare. Big man in seventh, Ninja in eighth, Cancer Sucks in ninth place, Trofish. 48,000 PGL points. That is an amazing yeah. performance out there. But we still have time 
If you've got some uh, casts left, make sure you use them because you can jump up on that leaderboard. Oh, and breaking news, oh. Smallmouth Jackpot has <gasps> been hit. All right. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Do I have a... Uh... Oh, boy. No. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Breaking news. <laughs> That's my breaking news sound. Here we go. Who won it? Doa 52 at the corner pocket. Oh, Congratulations, all right. Doa 52. Nice job out there picking up that small mouth all to yourself right now at over $800. And nice. you can see we have two minutes left to see if anybody else can win that. And it could be all yours. Keep checking here on the ticker tape, seeing if anybody else oh. wins it. New player right Somebody in second place in second with, with a, a lot of plays left. ton of plays left with only 90 seconds to go. Use those casts. <laughs> that is, wow. We could get, and this player has won before. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Because we've had to type it in. <laughs> yeah, I have. I remember <laughs> typing it in. <laughs> All right, but a lot of casts left. Playing that beers too, but let's see what happens here. Can you get more than 2,000 points in the next minute? Big difference between first and second place yeah. K on this one. I mean, see what happens. Yep. 50 seconds to go. Let's see. Can we get a new winner out oh, here? Oh, man. <laughs> Did I miss something? No. I feel oh, like Oh, you think they're we're going to have a new yeah. winner? All right. Still, congratulations to Doa52 for picking up that smallmouth jackpot, over $800 jackpot on that one. That'll reset for next week. Oh, I got to push that button. Yeah, now. you got to cast. <laughs> you got to throw that line in there, reel it back, and cast it again, trying to catch those big fish or hit that golden walleye bonus. 16 Not a lot seconds of time left. left, yeah. Trollfish may hold on to this. 49,000 points, just shy of 50,000 PGL points. Oh. And that oh, is going to be it. Trofish, our big angler of the evening. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations, Trofish. Remember, stay tuned to your PGL newsletter to figure out how to play in the Pilot Championship Series. We're going to get that kicked off here in about a month. I am excited for that. There we go, Trofish taking it home. Recreation Lanes at Rochester. That could be the person I was talking to on the phone hey, yesterday. Hey, you never know. That's right. Very, very nice person. Got our internet going again. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. Where are we coming back to? Blingo we're Bingo? We're going to be back with, oh, wow, yes. I was skipping ahead there. Right. Blingo Bingo. All right, we'll be right <laughs> back with Blingo Bingo. <laughs>
right, here we are. We are back. How is everybody doing tonight? We want to say quick hello to John. Checking Hi, in John. on Facebook. John, thanks for checking in, giving us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. I also want to say hi to Lena. She says, love, love, love this game and all of you, of course. Thank <laughs> Thanks, you, Lena. Lena. We love you, too. <laughs> Thanks for playing, and we wish you the best of luck in Blingo Bingo, a 45-play 10-minute Flash Bingo tournament game. About ready to get started here in just over two and a half minutes. 277 players enrolled, over $4,700 in prizes. And uh, we have had a great night tonight. We already yeah. hit the smallmouth jackpot. Uh, that was very exciting just in the last game. And we've got this 45-play, 10-minute tournament. And then we have the main event of the evening, the 56 ball. What is that jackpot at? Right now, it's at $22,300. $22, yeah, so and it's going to get even bigger. That, yeah. yeah, but that is a ton of cash. If somebody can hit that cover all within 56 balls, it's been a while since we hit it. I don't even remember the last time we hit it. I don't have that Several months at probably. the top of my head. Yeah, I don't know either. Maybe <laughs> a month ago, six weeks ago, something Maybe. like that. All right, now we're up to 292 players enrolled. And we're trying to work on our luck skills. So if you need some good luck, let us know on Facebook. You can find our Facebook at gotopilotgames.com. Click on the Facebook link. You can watch us live. You can watch us live on Pilot TV. You can watch mm -hmm. us live on your phone. Wherever you're at, we're at. And uh, you can check in with us. Sent out the, p the PGL newsletter just yesterday. Yeah. And remember, we talked about some great things about PyCon with the Beach Boys. There's some great pictures of everybody up on stage. That was so much fun. All right. We haven't hit that 56-ball jackpot since the first week in August. Okay. So it's been, yeah, six weeks almost probably. Let's see if we can change that tonight. Just about 20 minutes or so. Oh, just shy of $5,000 now. Oh, we hit 5,296 players. Are you liking that new game, Moonshot, out there? New electronic full tab game came out last week. Let us know what you think of Moonshot. I like the way that one turned out. Yeah. I really do like the graphics on it. We also, in Whoa. the newsletter, we talked about what we did at PyCon, where we got to choose our top, uh, or the first game of next year to pick. We... Got to pick between King of the Jungle, um, going to Mexico, and the firefighting game. What yes. did we call that one? Blazing Infernos? Battling Infernos. Battling Infernos. And everybody voted, and going to Mexico was the winner. Yes. So that was the one I voted for. Something about that beach and Yeah. Especially, air. yeah. I mean, we had a good, good warm summer, but, you know. It's going to go January, way too quickly. Yes. And what in the Lion game? Mason, what game did you pick? Mason voted for every single one. <laughs> <laughs> I clapped on all of them too. <laughs> but I think I clapped on this for going to Mexico. Okay. All right. Here are our players. There's Missy at the Lookout Bar. Missy checking in on Facebook earlier tonight and playing trivia with us. There's Sonia2010. Nice to see you out there, Sonia. At the Red Goat. Red Goat's been on the... Yeah, I've been uh, on that board a lot. Yep, and we got Wasteful. Yeah, Sonia oh, yeah. won easy money. Yeah. All right. Kitty Matt at Red's Irish Pub in first place. Arthur at Neighbors Bar in second place. There is the Brew Crew. We've si seen them quite a bit on the leaderboard over the summer. Yeah. Nice to see you, Brew Crew. Sonia 2010 now in sixth place. Uh don't know how to say that name. S-G-T-J-P. Sergeant J-P. Okay. Johnny Five Alive. I really want to see that short circuit movie. Heard it's great. No, I've seen it. We got Johnny Five Alive and we have Five Lives. Yeah. Five Live. There's Josie, winner of the previous game out there. We have Ladybug in second place. Joel at Shenanigans in third place. T to the S. T to the S out there in fourth place. Sergeant JP in sixth place. Josie in seventh. Sonia 2010 at the Red Goat in eighth place. And EOM back on the leaderboard again. Sheps on sixth. Big prizes out there tonight. Yeah. 
We have Sam taking first place at the Deer Stand Sports Bar and Grill. Over $600 for first place in this game. That's a nice jackpot out there. Mopar Man in eighth place at Scooter's Bar and Grill. I haven't seen Mopar Man in a while. Brew Crew in second. Golf 28 at Friends Bar. Golf 28, get your golfing in. Snow's a coming. Whoa, don't push it that far. It'll be here. We were just talking about Halloween, and usually... Leaves, leaves need to fall first. Yeah, that is true. But usually by Halloween, we get some kind of snow. It's true. Very true. Cecil at Sue's Penalty Box. Buckaroos in first place. Last year, we were here during Halloween, mm -hmm. and we had just installed the ring door camera. So we saw, and we left a bunch of candy on the front porch and said, please take one. And we watched the first group of kids come and empty the bucket. That didn't happen. Oh. <laughs> 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 Made for a good story. <laughs> Don't you know how to tell a good story? <laughs> Sorry. It's called you out there. <laughs> All right. If I tell that story again, you got to back me up. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> we were watching people go into our house, though. Yeah. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, one of them looked like Mason. One of those kids taking yes. all the candy looked like Mason. <laughs> Sam in second place, Brew Crew in third, Pat Pat in fourth at Victory Bowl, Rebma at Empties on eighth in fifth place. Remember, we got that twenty-five thousand, might even be twenty-seven thousand dollars coming up here at that fifty-six ball game. We haven't hit it in six weeks. Could be tonight. Yes. Buckaroos holding on to first place there with fourteen thousand six hundred seventy-five. PGL points. Remember to stay tuned for the Pilot Championship Series. We're going to have lots more information coming out over the next few weeks about how you can play at no cost and qualify for a free trip for two to Vegas to compete for over eighteen thousand or for eighteen thousand dollars in prizes. I am looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. There's, yeah, there's 12, 12 people are going to go with a guest and two nights, airfare, everything. And yeah, it's a round trip ticket. It's not <laughs> a one way ticket. We'll just clarify. Yeah. Johnny Five Alive, if you want to bring your short circuit robot, that counts as a person. That's true. Johnny Five can bring, um, who was the star of short circuit? Who was that guy's name? Uh. Gutenberg? Steve Gutenberg. What? I don't know. That was a long time ago. Nikki's looking it up. I think it was Steve Gutenberg. Why would you remember that? I know everything about robot movies. <laughs> there is Steve Gutenberg. Yeah, it was Steve Gutenberg. I told you. You don't even know what people look like. How would <laughs> you know that? <laughs> That's so weird. That, that, folks, is why I am the trivia writer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Buckaroos holding on to first place at Beer Bellies. 17,915 PGL points. Susie 714 in sixth place. Golf 28 in seventh. Jay and Ange at La Playette in eighth place. K Hup at Bourne's Bar in ninth place. First place looking like a $600 jackpot. But Steve out there on the leaderboard, 60th place. Four minutes to go. Make sure you use all of your plays. So look at those little yellow progress bars working the way from the left to the right. That indicates how many of the 45 plays each of these players has completed. Once that gets all the way over to the right, those players will have no more plays left. And we'll have to sit back, relax, watch the results unfold. We have one more task we were supposed to do here today. Remind me before we leave. <laughs> Susie 714 on the overall state PGL leaderboard, Ooh. top 25. Nice to see you out there. There's Bart at Eagle's Nest. Eagle Lake. Susie is 20th in the state. All right. Yes, we do have one more task. I, I forgot to. You can remember Steve Gutenberg. Yes, that is that is absolutely true. I can remember random facts about movies from the 80s, but I don't know what happened five minutes ago. And I don't know what you're talking about. So <laughs> the random task, I'm not going to be very good at reminding no, you. No, just remind me that there is a random task. Oh, okay. 
All right, Buckaroos in first place. Bryzo in second place. Susie seven fourteen in sixth. Pat Pat in seventh. K Hup in eighth. Golf twenty eighth in ninth place. I think we need a pizza avatar. Ooh. Icon. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Piece of pizza. I don't know why. We like can, you know, that's not a bad idea to look at these avatars. We haven't changed them in two years. Yeah. yeah there's some we can add. I feel like people would pick pizza. <laughs> I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them to choose from. There I don't could know. Be pizza yeah, in there maybe already, yeah. No one wants to pick <laughs> it. I'd pick pizza. I'd love to have pizza right now. <laughs> Oop. Low battery. All right, two minutes, 22 seconds, and then we are coming up with that main event. I cannot wait to see that 56 ball game tonight. Big, big prize coming up here. In just about two minutes, we'll take a quick break, and then we'll be back with that 56 ball game coming up right at 8 o'clock. 14 minutes away from 8 o'clock. All right, Buckaroos in first. The Flash in 83rd place. It's probably the Flash the superhero. Jedi Trucker in 84th place. Leaderboard staying constant though up here. Sam got a couple plays left. Maybe Bryzo a few plays left. Down to the last 90 seconds. Bart in 7th place. Pat Pat in 8th. K-Hub in 9th place. And here we are, rolling up to the last 60 seconds of this Blingo Bingo 45 play 10 minute flash bingo tournament. And that's gonna leave us with the main event, the event you have all been waiting for, 25,000 at least. And that 56 ball coverall. Beer bellies, bar and grill. Yep, that's a I good like one. That. I like that sound of that too. Hope you're getting ready for Halloween. We already got some Halloween candy. I picked it up today. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They put it right by the checkout at the grocery store. You <laughs> fell for the trap. I did. I walked past it a couple days ago, and then today I just couldn't do it. I'll be honest. When we walked in there. a while until Halloween. <laughs> I know, but they got them out there. Pretty soon they'll be putting the turkeys out. Already ordered our turkey. <laughs> yep, all right. Ten seconds to go. Yeah, I can't wait. We missed out on getting one of those turkeys last year. All right, last couple seconds here, and then we'll take a quick break and be back with that main event. 56 ball game, $25,000 and counting. 22000 and counting, but I would imagine it's going to be over 25000 Make it official here. Buckaroos at Beer Bellies. Coming up here. There we go. Buckaroos, Beer Bellies. Right, congratulations. congratulations. And uh, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the main event. 56 ball game, $22,000 and counting. We'll see how high it gets tonight. We'll be right back.
right, everybody, we are back. It is time for the main event. Look at that. Total prizes over 29000 This close to $30,000. Three minutes to go. 280 players enrolled. That is all going back. If we can hit that coverall within 56 balls. Who's feeling lucky tonight? I think we're going to hit 30000 Oh, I can't hear you. There you go. Oh, you're about, I you're think on so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are on. There we go, and we did. And we did. 30,000, 10 bucks, 281 players enrolled, and we still have two and a half minutes to go. What a night we've had tonight. Mm -hmm. Lots of good prizes, lots of good fun. Some flash bingo games, fish and derby, wipeout blackout, everything. After this game, we are not done. We are going to turn it over to Tristan and Mason, give us a full report on everything that's happened throughout the night find out where our PGL standings are who's got the most PGL points in the state we will be able to find out just after this game but the most important part is we are going to see if anybody can take home that big coverall prize in this game two minutes to go what do you think you feeling lucky tonight <sighs> yeah why not <laughs> all right I'm I going have to have a good feeling Let's see if there's anybody in this Facebook chat here. Oops. Load away. Why reload? My phone froze. Oh boy. Well, your battery's gonna die. It is. All right, there we go. I'm back in. Yep. We'll see if the battery. All it's got to do is last the next 90 seconds. $30,376.295 players. We have about 80 seconds now to get over 300 players, and I think that's what we should do. Yes. There we go, 296. We are working our way up to 300. Let's do it. Why not? More players, the bigger the prize. If you guys are enjoying Moonshot, brand new game out there, let us know what you think. 297 now. Fifty seconds to go. Three more players. Let's get over that 300 player barrier. Why not? Let's go to 400. <laughs> 298. 299. I feel like I'm an uh, auctioneer. Can I get 299? Yeah, there you go. Can I get 300 to <laughs> 299? 300 to 300. There two? we go. There we go. And they're always saying so many numbers, it doesn't make any sense. I got five, five, give me ten, ten, five, seven, five, seven, five, ten, five, seven. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> I went to auctioneering school online. <laughs> oh, we may be holding straight at 300 players. That is something. 301 now. Five seconds to go. 302. Ooh, we right. are climbing. All right, everybody in. We are done. Thirty thousand eight hundred dollars. Look at that, that total is pretty prize. Nice. Yeah, it is. All right, these balls will begin dropping any second now. You all ready with your calls over there? I am. Let's see if we can do this within fifty-six balls. Get my sound effects going. There we go. Here we go. We're All off to right. the races. Look at that. $28,688 for that coverall. Even those line wins are big. $982 jackpot for that line win. All right. N37. More than 11. 517 cards. Three balls away. G57. Heinz Varieties. 785 cards, three balls away now. There's J Mac on the board. Oh, 071. Bang on the drum. Scuba Steve out there. I 23. B and me. One card, one ball away already. Amy B. One ball away. G60. Five dozen. Amy B, Bonds 25, FF, Kurt, and Stormy, one ball away, ball six coming down. Oh, 62, turn on the screw. Six cards, one ball away now, ball seven coming down, $982 straight line win. G56, 
Was she worth it? Nine cards now. One fall away. And 43 down on your knee. Ten cards. One ball away now. The straight line bingo. $982. Ooh. There we go. Bingo! Lucy at St. James Legion. Congratulations, All right. Lucy. All right. $982 jackpot. Look at that big line win. Congratulations, Lucy. Melissa, Missy, yelling, no whammies, no <laughs> whammies. Oh, 70, three score and 10. Might be kind of fun sometime instead of trivia to do some other kind of game show. We could do like, press your luck or some other kind of game. Mm -hmm. Trivia is fun though, I like it. And 41, time for fun. I'm adding Steve Gutenberg to the list of trivia choices. <laughs> <laughs> B4, knock at the door. Three cards, six balls away. Working our way to that large M, another $982 jackpot. I26, pick and mix. Four cards, six balls away. O72, oh, six dozen. Loan cards, six balls away. G55, snakes alive. There's FF Kurt, five balls away. FF Kurt was in the running for that line win. B8, garden gate. One card, four balls away. FF Kurt out there in the lead. Ball 17 coming down. I20, one score. One card, three balls away. FF Kurt, every ball. He's moving up by one. B14, Valentine's Day. FF Kurt, three balls away from this large M pattern. $980 jackpot. G59, Brighton Line. Missy on Facebook saying, hi, Sarah. We'll say hi to Sarah. Hi, Why Sarah. not? Hi, Sarah. <laughs> N38, Christmas cake. Oh, yeah. Missy, you won the trivia, but you didn't vote on the topic for next week. So if you're still watching, you can send in the topic. The choices were the letter B, Greek mythology. B6, Tom Mix. I can't remember the other ones. Weights and measures. Space was the other one. So if you want to send the topic in, Missy, you can put it right there in the chat. Oh, 63. Tickle me, 63. Two cards, three balls away now. Ball 24 coming down. I, 21. Key of the door. F, Kurt, and Wes, three balls away. B, 1. Kelly's eye. One card, two balls away. I-18, coming of age. This could be FF Kurt's game to lose. He's been in the lead almost every pattern. G-54, clean the floor. B-5, man alive. Two guards, two balls away now. O-68, saving grace. Cards, two balls away. N32, buckle my shoe. FF Kurt and Deanna, two balls away. B12, one dozen. 11 cards, two balls away. B2, one little duck. Crawl, one ball away. Ball 33 coming down, $982 jackpot, large M pattern on the line. Oh, 74, candy store. Five cards, one ball away here from this large M pattern. Ball 34 coming down. Remember, this is a 56 ball game. Oh, there we go. Bingo! Bart at Eagle's right. Nest, all to yourself, all right. 
two patterns, two big bingos. Let's see what happens here. We are 21 balls away from this coverall. And 35, jump and jive. See if we can do it. Three cards, six balls away. I-19, goodbye team. Bola, five live and bounce 25, five balls away. Oh, 75, strive and strive. Three cards, five balls away. Lola, five live, bonds, 25, five balls away. B15, young and keen. G47, four and seven. Five live, bonds, 25, four balls away. I-24, two dozen. Two cards, oh, four balls, or two cards, four <laughs> balls away. Something's happening. Oh, 69. Getting excited. Either way up. Getting excited here. We are 15 balls away from this coverall. Let's see if we can do it within 15 balls. I-25, duck and dive. One card, three balls away now. 13 balls left. B10, Teresa's done. There's Wasteful at Trails Grill. Five live, three balls away. N31, get up and run. One card, three balls away. G52, Danny LaRue. Getting close here, ball 46 coming down. We are now 10 balls away from 56. And 39, steps. Five cards, three balls away, TC right, five live, Mongo, Bonds 25, show. And 42, Winnie the Pooh. One card, two balls away now from this coverall, $28,688, show 53.84. Oh, 67, made in heaven. Eight balls to come down. Let's see what happens. Oh, 061. Baker's bun. Still, players want uh, two balls away. Show 5384, two balls away. G58. Make them wait. Three cards, two balls away now. Ball 51 coming down. B11. Legs 11. Here we go, show 53.84, one ball away. Five chances here to win this coverall, $28,688. Let's see what happens, ball 52. G49, Bierstein. All right, another couple chances here for show 53.84, ball 53 coming down. Do we have a winner on ball 53? Do we have a winner? <laughs> no winner on ball 53. I-27, gateway to heaven. All right. Three chances here for show. Oh, there oh, we go. All we right. Go. Big yes. win show. Look at that. $28,688. Wow. Three winners, three big dollar amounts. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow, That's look awesome. at that. Oh, my phone just turned off too. Perfect timing. Out of batteries, <laughs> out of games, no more <laughs> balls to draw. This is perfect. Look at that. Big win. $28,000. Congratulations yeah. on that win show. That is Ooh. huge. Haven't done that since August. Yeah, very, very nice. Good. Awesome. Great job, everybody. Look at the size of those prizes out there. Uh, we are going to take a quick break. and We'll be right back with the wrap-up of the games tonight. But what a night. I would say we had lots of winners. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm going to summarize it. But we'll get the real details coming up here in just one second. <laughs>
All right, everybody, we are back. And what a night of games we had tonight. We had tons and tons of winners, but I want to hear the real story. What happened out there tonight, guys? All right, sorry. Uh, hello, everyone. Mason there. And I'm Tristan. And I'm really disappointed in your choice for trivia next week. Okay, yeah, but when has that ever stopped me from picking something you don't like? <laughs> it hasn't. Yeah, that's right. So on to some PGL it statistics has. for tonight. <laughs> uh, we had some shakeups when it came to the top ten tonight because we had a lot of our players from that bracket actually out there competing. So to start with the new top three, we have No Show at Trails Grill in first. Okay at Trails Grill in second, and J Mac knocking. Ooh, uh, sorry, right. J Mac out at Monty Sports Bar in third as she knocks Nixon off That's his a big, oh, it's a big deal. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, J Mac was out at PyCon. If you guys were there, you heard her boo when we said no show wasn't <laughs> first. <Yeah. laughs> uh, welcome back to the top three, though, J Mac. You've got a bit of climb to get to second place and then first place after that, but uh, all you need is a few good nights. Yeah, yep, so no show. A it's a long season. No show better be be watching out right now. <laughs> all right, so Nixon, like I said, falls to fourth, followed by Louis in fifth, crazy with K in sixth. Uh, Big Daddy jumps to seventh from 10th place tonight. Big Daddy had an awesome night. Uh, Beaver falls to 8th place, Jetson falls to 9th, and then Kelster winds up in 10th. For other big movements tonight, we actually have Amy B jumping from 17th place to 12th, so five spaces wow. tonight. And then none other than our trivia champion, Missy Rents, jumping from 19th to 16th, so oh, three ooh, places. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, as for point totals for the night, we had six players get into the 30,000 point range, uh, and that, or we had six players get into the 30,000 point range. Then we had OK, Sweets, Louie, and Truefish all getting into 40,000 points. And amazingly, we had three players tonight make it into the 50,000 point club. Uh, amazingly, No Show at Trails Grill is able to make it out with 51,000 points, and even though he's in first place, he is actually the lowest 50,000 point scorer tonight. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, we have Susie714 out at Bedrock, ending up with 53,000 points, just passing No Show. And then finally, our highest point winner of the night happens to be Amy B out at Duffy's Bar and Grill, who scored a whopping 56,000. 555 wow. points. Wow. Congratulations to Amy for knocking it out of the park tonight. Lots of points. In other news, I'd like to welcome Don A. Ho back to the leaderboard oh. uh, this week uh, as he had like a near eight-week absence, but he is he is back with his little troll uh, <laughs> icon <laughs> avatar yeah. thing, yeah, uh, because I'm a nerd and I remember the 80s. Uh, he's already managed to climb from 25th tonight to 23rd. Ooh, all yeah. right. Mason, what do you have for us? All right, what an exciting night of games we had today. Lots of winners tonight. There was over 40,000 given out prizes tonight. Oh. We started our night with a round of the fast-paced 55-ball wipeout blackout. Uh, there were a lot of winners tonight. Uh, winners tonight, we have Thomas and Louis splitting that line win. Uh, taking that large frame to themselves, an awesome name, Corn Dog. Yes. <laughs> with a K. Yes. <laughs> uh, our coverall winners are Travelers and Hot Taters, another pretty funny name. No jackpots during tonight's game, uh, so that means everything will carry over next week with starting values of 556 for the line win. The large fame will be over $1,600, and that coverall is already over $5,000. Yeah. So wow. that's going to be a lot of money. Big prizes yeah. next week. Uh, during the second game of the night, Easy Money, our top five players were Josie, Neutral Mike, Sonia, No Show, and JC11. After that, we headed out to the lake for some fishing derby, where we had over 300 anglers fighting for that chance to be named Angler of that Night. Angler of the Night. Uh, the top five anglers of the night were Trowfish, Balchies, Kroll, Glycots, and MC Waters. Uh, I also want to congratulate Doa52 on reeling Ooh, in yeah. that smallmouth jackpot yep. all to themselves. Yeah. Congratulations, that is tough. Yeah. Uh, because that smallmouth was caught, we're going to release another one next week, and at starting value, it will be over. Th er, it will be $500. Uh, that largemouth continues to elude fishermen and will continue to grow next week with a starting value of over 3000 Yeah. After docking the boats, we started a game of Blingo Bingo where our top five players were Buckaroos, Linda, Bryzo, Brew Crew, and Sam. 
And during that very exciting last game, we had Lucy take that line win, Bart with that uh, large M, yeah. and Show t getting that coverall worth almost 28 grand all yeah. to themselves. Wow. Congratulations. Exactly. That's yeah, crazy. Congratulations, congratulations to everybody. Those are some big, mm -hmm. big wins out there. Yeah. Uh, that means that Progressive will reset next week with a starting value of $5,000. Wow. Yeah. Still a big prize. It, it is, yeah. I'd like that. Yeah. Uh, so, Tristan, do you know what your Halloween costume is going to be? Uh, I actually don't know. Wait, I thought you had everything planned till next Halloween. Yeah, uh, but that was for this Halloween. I planned not knowing what I was going to be. That makes surprising sense. I know it okay. does. <laughs> Back um, to you guys. Just leave All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is going to be great. I can't wait for Halloween. Keep the weather warm. We'll do our best. Yeah, yeah. I like. Yeah. We make no promises. I All like right. the candy. And yeah. Well, what a night! What a great, uh, great night! A lot of yeah. points out there. A lot of money won out there. A lot of great organizations benefit from us having fun, and I uh, can't wait to do it next week. You want to say anything before we go? Remember, when you play pilot games, your community game wins. See you next See week. See you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs>